just like that. Keeps them alive. Real, real, real. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, folks. A smell was following mom's in, but she got one. Okay, I got a sculpin. Sculpin bullhead. Alright. Wanna use that as bait? Yes, this will make great bait for striped bass or halibut. Alright, it's time to put some water in the cooler, so I got my frabble bucket with a rope tied to it. And we'll use this to get a bunch of water to put in the cooler. Alright, got some water. You can see the first one we caught is down there. Got another sculpin. Little guy. Open up. Open up. Alright, I'll just take it off from here then. Like a cool way to do it. I had a little nibble. Another little bullhead sculpin that makes great bait for striped bass and halibut. We filled this cooler with water. I used my Fraville bait bucket and just filled it with water. Then we could fill and change out water as we please. But to keep the oxygen level high, we got this baby bubble aerator that you've seen in a lot of my videos, especially the creek saving carp one. But basically, it's just a little aerator stone and an air pump, and it just pumps air through this stone, and when you put it in the water, it creates bubbles. It adds a lot of oxygen to the water and keeps them alive for a very long time. Another bullhead sculpin. I have to put it in the cooler with the other ones. Alright, so to catch these bullhead sculpin that we're targeting to use as bait for bigger fish like striped bass and halibut, I'm just using the sabiki rig. Super small hooks. For these bullheads, um, we put little strips of squid on the hooks and then we cast out really far out from the wharf to catch them. But if the anchovies are running, which also make great bait, I tend to like the anchovies better, but they're harder to keep alive when they're out of water. Then you just use the hook, no bait, and they'll go after it. But we just got a sabiki here. Then I got a two ounce pyramid weight. I like the pyramid ones. They anchor into the sand very nicely. And yeah. I think got another. I got three fish. Bottom two are the bullhead sculpins. And the top one is a small baby sand dab. Flatfish. I'm gonna take off the two sculpins and put them in the bucket, but the sand dabs we don't keep, we just toss them back. Off to grow and fight another day. Alright, not skunk today. No skunk. Small one, but great bait size for bigger fish. And dad's using the high low rig. I got hooked on or what? Yeah. Yeah. There. Okay. Oh, you got a small hook here and a bigger hook up top. That's pretty smart. Going in the cooler. 
All right, so we caught a few of these bullheads. Now I got a Carolina fish finder rig, about two feet leader and a little two watt gamagatsu hook. Honestly, we should go a little bigger with the hook, but we'll start out with this. And I'm just gonna take one of these. This one right here should be good. Yeah, take the hook and hook it through the lip and out the nose. Just like that, keeps them alive. It's time to cast out. All right, we got fish finder rig. I got a two ounce weight, a few feet of 20 pound mono leader and this bull head. Time to cast out. Okay, I got another bull head, but then I also got a perch. Cute little one. Oh, look at that nice yellow coloring. I also got the camera. a little bull head, tiny one. We're gonna let the perch go. We doubled up. Get, just yank it and reel in. Like one fluid motion. Real, real, real. I am. Think you might got one this time. Yeah, you got one. Oh! Ooh. It came oh off. God, I saw it. I, it. It. I got it. I got, got it. <laughs> I got a graceful rock crab, just a little one. We also got another one earlier. Come over here if you want to see. We're just using this rice container. We got another crab. We just put them in here so you can see them good, but. We're gonna release them later before we leave. And if you take a look over here, you can see all the bait we've caught on sabikis. We've got we've got some perch. We got like three perch. We're just keeping them in here um, just in case. But we don't really use them as bait. We just release them because we want their population to be healthy. But these uh, bullhead mud sucker things, you could just catch a bunch of and keep them, use them as bait. These things, believe it or not, are actually $2 at um, the local bait shops around here. So we've got like well over $20 worth of bait right here. I got some crabs, two crabs on the sabiki. Let's hope they don't fall off so I can show you guys. Two crabs on the sabiki. We got the crabs in our in our rice rice container. We'll just throw them out one by one to show you guys. There's one, there's two, there's three, and the final one. Alright, I put all the bullhead sculpins in here. And I'm just gonna dump them out. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, last but not least, the perch. We like keeping these because we like looking at them, but we don't like using them as bait because we want to just keep their population healthy. All right, time to release the perch. Here goes one, and here's the last one. Job well done. That's it for this video, Anthony Fong Fishing. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and dropping a like. I had a lot of fun out here at the Santa Cruz Wharf showing you guys how to catch free bait. You know, those bullhead sculpin, whatever you want to call them. They make prime bait for striped bass and halibut out here in the ocean and in the San Francisco Bay. And also, if you bought them live at a bait shop, they cost about $2 each. Out here, we caught like $40 worth of bait for free. So save some money, come catch your own bait. And yeah, we're gonna walk to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk and have some fun. So make sure you follow my Instagram too, at Anthony Fong Fishing. And thanks for watching and tune in next time. Yeah, just say.
This will make great bait. <laughs> Is that his bait? Yes, this will make great bait. Do I go? Well, do you have nibbles? Yeah, we don't have it. Yeah, just real. She got nothing. <laughs> she got none. Cut, cut. Cut. Cut.